I decided to foster because I had a friend uh, back when I was a lot younger um, that's parents did fostering as on a respite basis and that kind of got my kind of senses going and that actually this is something I want to look into when the time is right um, and that feeling just never left me. Um, I am in my fourth year this year. I would say if you're thinking of fostering, um, speak to those around you, family, friends, those that you know will support you if you start this journey. Um, and also just pick up the phone and speak to your um, local authority. Central beds are brilliant. Um, so give them a call and get someone to come around and just, you know, really explain to you kind of what you're, gonna, what you're getting yourself into. When the time was right for us to inquire about fostering, there was a few things that I weren't sure. Number one was our age, because myself and my partner are on the younger side of what many foster carers are. So that was always people who said, oh, you can't do it because you're too young. Um, another one was that our birth daughter was only two at the time. So that was another kind of, oh, is she too young for us to get involved in fostering? Um, and the third one was, there was questions around, um, I'd recently lost my mum. Um, so actually, was it too soon to be going through a fostering journey when I just had such a big loss in my life? Um, I googled fostering in Bedfordshire and lucky for me, they were the first ones that come up on Google. So I just pressed the link and contacted someone from there. Central beds have been really good. Um, I've had fantastic social workers for myself and for all the children that I've looked after so far. Um, also with, you know, any problems I've got um, and also, you know, things that I want to learn more about. They've been really supportive in, you know, encouraging my journey to find out more about fostering and all the different parts of fostering. A completely different outlook of life. Um, there's a whole different world out there in the fostering world that you don't know about when you're in your own little world. Um, so going through every, every child's journey and learning more and more each time you take on a new child, um, yeah, it's probably what I've learned the most. Um, I think every time a child comes into placement and then leaves, that's always a standout moment because you've done so much for that child and they move on to their forever family. Um, and everything you've done for them. Um, and I think another one is adding our little boy to our family who's now with us long term. Um, that's been a massive part of our life um, and he's now part of our family forever. So, so I have um, a birth child that is now nearly six. Um, she loves it. She, she talks to herself as a foster carer. She, she will tell people she is also a foster carer. Um, she wants to be involved in everything that I get involved in um, and she takes each and every child in like they're, they're, they're her own. So, um, yeah, and our, and our support network is amazing as well. You know, they, they really support us as a family, but they take each and every child in just like we do. Truly magic.